Hey, what's up guys? Hope you had a great day today and I uh, just want to start off with telling you about something that new that I've been doing. After work, um, I've been putting my phone aside and taking a 15 to 30 minute jog or workout without any music, without my phone, and it's allowed me to kind of reflect on my day and figure out what I accomplished, what I did, what I could do better, and how I can make some changes in my life. So. I've really been enjoying that process and listening to nature and the wind and all of these other factors that you kind of just tune tune out to when you have your phone on you or you're listening to music. And normally I have a podcast going or I have a song that I'm jamming out to that just allows me to keep running or keep active. But this this type of reflective process that I've been doing has really been helpful. And today, as I was walking and thinking back on just my life, hey Mandy, um, I noticed, I remembered a time when I was training in high school for football and you know I wanted to be the best that I could be so I got a trainer and my dad was fortunate enough to get me in a program where I had someone train me to get better at my drop step and you know throwing the ball more accurately and just being strong overall and I just remember putting myself through so much pain um, physically to build my body to make sure that I was stronger mentally and physically and there was a time specifically where I was doing push-ups and I was doing as many as I can. I was almost maxing out. And I remember there was a period, of, hey Jenna, I remember there's a period of time uh, or a moment in time where the pain became, I couldn't even use my arms anymore. I started shaking and I, I didn't know how many more I could do. And at that moment, I, I asked myself, or I told myself, I said, just do one more, just do one more. And after that pain set in, when, my, when I couldn't do any more, just one more, just one more. And that one more usually stemmed into five to seven to ten at times. But it was what I was telling myself in those painful moments. And I want to ask that question to you. You know, whether you're having a bad day today or you've been in a funk lately or you're just insecure or uncertain about your future, what are you telling yourself in those moments of pain, in those moments of uh, discomfort? You know, are you saying, oh, maybe this isn't for me? Are you saying, you know, am I good enough? Am I, do I know enough? Do I have enough education? Do, am I, you know, wise enough or smart enough to continue going? It's important in those moments to just say, just take the next step or just do one more. And to remind yourself that take it one step at a time. You know, I, I find myself guilty of this all the time where you want to do so many things at once, especially when you're really excited about something or when you feel like you have to do it all at once. But we become way more effective when we pick one thing. And I think it helps when you tell yourself what to do, especially in times of pain. You know, Muhammad Ali was famous for saying, I started counting my sets or my reps after the pain set in. So if he was doing sit-ups, and let's say he got to 30, and 30 is when he started feeling the pain, that's when he started counting. And that's when he said, that's when it matters most. Most people quit when there's pain. Most people quit when it's hard. Most people quit when they feel like they can't do anymore. But if they just learn to push past that extra little bit, that's when they get the wisdom. That's when they figure out there's more to themselves. You know, if you go to the gym and, and you hit 10 reps, and you're like, this is, yes, 10 is good for me and you stay there forever, you're not getting any better. It's not until you push to that 11th rep, that 12th rep. That's when you build the muscle. That's when you, you build the strength. That's when you're able to walk through life with confidence. But stopping right before the end, not even starting, starting for a week and then stopping, that's not building any muscle. That's not making you better at all. So what are you telling yourself in those painful moments? Because you, you can't rely on someone to to tell you to keep going because sometimes those people aren't going to be there. And a good way to think about it is if you are strong enough to tell yourself to keep going in those moments, think of all the other people who are going to stop. That makes your job a lot easier. That's less competition for you. It's hard doing what no one wants to do. Why do you think no one does it? It's hard to start your own business. It's hard to create a movement. It's hard to earn a lot of money if you make it that way, right? It's, I mean, there's going to be these things that are challenging for us, but it's all about how we represent that in our mind. Yes, there's days where you feel like, man, I don't know where I'm starting. I don't know where I'm going with this. There will be days where that happens. There will be moments where it seems impossible to do a task until you do it. 
right? It's always impossible until it's done. So you just have to control that mindset. It's all mindset. You, you have the right mindset. You attract the people around you. Get a great team around you by the how you think. And then you hold yourself accountable. So many people, and I've been there at times, when the pain sets in, we want to quit. We want to stop. Your, your body is designed that way. Your, your body is designed for any perceived threat to stop what you're doing and move to a safe location. But you have to tell it what is safety. If you, if you tell your mind that safety is an uncertainty, you're going to get a lot done. You're going to accomplish a lot in your lifetime. And you're going to look back and you're going to be happy at the life that you've created. But if you allow your mind to not be controlled and it just perceives threats wherever you go by anything that's outside your comfort zone, then you're not going to grow at all. And you're not going to be fulfilled as much as you can be. You might wake up one day in a place that you don't want to be and ask, how did, that, how did this happen? Where did the time go? And I, I, I meet with a lot of people who are older who have that mindset. I mean, I, man, if I was your age again, I would have done this. I wish I would have knew at your age what I, I, I know now. Well, let's not wait till that happens. Let's not wait till a painful moment comes, a tragedy happens in our life till we finally switch our mindset. Let's not wait for that moment. Let's be proactive. Let's learn from people who are already doing it. Let's, let's be energetic, right? Let's be confident in ourselves. And let's keep moving forward one step at a time. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to get it right the first time. You just have to keep going. You just have to keep going. So what do you tell yourself in those painful moments? Own your, own your phrase. Find your mantra. If it's be that 1%, let it be that. If it's keep going, let it be that. If it's you got this. If it's just one more. If it's just keep pushing. Whatever it is, there's no right or wrong way. Find it for you. Find that phrase that's going to get you through the pain. Because through pain comes growth. Through pain comes growth. So, go achieve what you set out to do. Don't let any excuse be bigger than your dream. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you later. Share this if you really felt this was powerful. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. I know I need to hear it at times. And sometimes I make these videos for myself. So share this with somebody, like, comment on it, but let's, let's get this message out there. You know, we all have the right to, to have a life that we want, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna be handed to us. It's not gonna be given to us. No one's gonna walk up to our door, hey, uh, you ordered the dream with lots of money and uh, everything that you wanted, here it is. No one's gonna do that. No one's gonna present it to you. You gotta go earn it. You have to earn it. And you wouldn't want it that way either. You wouldn't want it someone to just give it to you because then you wouldn't, you wouldn't feel pride over it. You, wouldn't know, you would know that you didn't put the work in. And there's something special about knowing how hard you worked for something and then finally reaching it and saying, yes, I got that because of the work that I did. So go put the work in. Talk to you later. Have a great night.